hello guys so welcome back to swiss technologies so in this video let's understand why selenium is so famous okay and what are the features we are having with the selenium and we will also look into some browser interactions with the selenium okay so if you look at it so why selenium is so popular and demanding means selenium is popular and demanding due to following features what are those it is an open source tool freely available on internet yes so this is a open source we no need to pay anything to anyone so no project cost is involved no license required can be used easily customized to integrate with other test management tools like alm bugzilla and uh, it is always ready to integrate with other third party tools like uh, apache pvi and bdd cucumber these are different libraries like testmg these libraries also we can do integrate with the selenium so and it supports almost 13 different software languages programming languages java c sharp ruby python Perl, php javascript and javascript uh node js haskell r dot tcl object c so these many and it supports almost all the browsers okay this supports almost all the browsers and hence cross browser testing compatibility testing can be performed using selenium it supports all the operating systems, Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. And hence, cross platform testing can also be performed, but it requires Selenium grid. Okay, so and here having different flavors of Selenium. So currently, we are using Selenium Web Driver because we are having some uh, some uh, flavors of the Selenium were deprecated okay let's have a look on the browser interactions how we can perform with the selenium so this is a prerequisite that we require to do set up the browser okay so later what we can do means if you want to do uh, work with any like uh, this particular site how we can do uh, interact with this page by selenium means so first uh, to come to this chrome browser like uh, if you want to open the chrome browser so the line already written here okay and how to set up this and all we already discussed in previous videos okay if you have not yet visited please go through it up once and here what we have to do say to selenium that to launch any url in the browser so we can use a simple get method okay so driver dot get method so here you have to use a url of your application okay so this is my application url and just to use here so this will take me to facebook.com page okay so later so if you want to do some uh interactions okay some uh with some fields if you want to do uh perform some actions with the selenium so what we can do means so in this page once you're available here you are having selenium like a, a email text box password text box and login button you are having we want to do some actions here what you have to do you have to do inspect this right click on this particular field and here you are having some name and email just to take id so control c and how we can do performance driver dot find element is a method you have to use okay and by dot you have taken id so yes. just to paste here so in in this id place just paste so what you have to do dot you have to do use send case if you are having any username you can just do pass switch like this in the same way you can also do pass for password also so how you can do just come here to the arrow mark and uh, just click on this thing and here also id you are having just keep take this id and just paste here so here this is if i take one two three so now you can just show do like this so now run as java application just this will take you to the facebook page and there it will enter switch and it will also enter the password okay so this is the way we can do perform some selenium interactions in the browser thank you